Out here in this avocado field, I found myself a diamondback rattlesnake. Diamondbacks are fairly common here in Florida. Uh, here in this avocado grove, we have about a four-footer. And uh, diamondbacks are distinctive, having a diamond pattern going down the back there, kind of outlined in a lighter shade of color. Now, these snakes can be very defensive, and also they can be very dangerous due to the amount of venom that they carry. This snake here is quite nervous, rattling his tail. If I get too close, he's going to strike. Now, this rattlesnake here carries the most venom of any snake found in the United States. One bite from a snake like this is more than capable of killing four to six people. So what we're going to try to do here today is we're actually going to try to extract some of his venom Now here we have the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. Now the snake is pretty willing to open up the mouth there. And uh, you can see the membrane tissue actually around the fang itself. Those two large things you see in the front of the mouth there are actually the fang. Fangs covered in a membrane tissue. So what I'm going to do right now is actually grab myself a flask and see if I can extract venom from the fangs of this snake. Okay, we're going to take that lip there, secrete all that venom into the mouth. Okay, look at all that venom come down. And you can see those fangs right there, okay. And all that venom coming down into the glass. And, and replacement, actually, replacement fang actually see the replacement fang? This yeah. is the one, one that there. We got a little fang coming down there glass there. But it broke off? Yeah, well, see the new one that replaced it? The old one reseeded itself. Can we save it? Yeah, we will save this fang and keep it for okay. educational purposes. Okay, we're gonna put the snake back in uh, the environment. We're gonna let him go. Okay. Go, little snake. Yeah. The venom that I have here is a hemotoxic venom. Hemotoxic venom attacks the uh, blood breaks down the blood and causes massive hemorrhaging throughout the internal organ system. Most people will die from renal shutdown uh, when bitten by uh, a hemotoxic snake. And this is the venom of the diamondback rattlesnake. It has a yellow coloration to it and one drop of this venom is capable of killing an average person, but we have enough here to kill at least six to ten people.